Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day, mate. I'd personally like to thank you for volunteering. I hope you're a night owl because you'll be staying up from 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. for the next five days, which you already knew about. If not, we'll grab a cup of coffee and get to work. Let me fill you in on your task for the next five days. You simply need to make use of our security camera system to monitor the animatronic characters and make sure that they are functioning properly. At the end of the work period, give us reports on the activity. <laughs> Boring, right? Wrong. The animatronics have a night roaming mode enabled to make sure their servos don't lock up, which is a little bit buggy. As the nights progress, they may become more active. Now, I guess the first thing you notice is that uh, you have limited power. Fastband Entertainment has returned with a much smaller budget, so all of our buildings have limited power. It makes working with these animatronics quite difficult. Your office uses one third of power, which is constant, but isn't too bad. The camera system uses a third also. It's quite an old system, the images may glitch out at times when you're using the cameras. It's actually the same system from the restaurant of 87, that's something we managed to scavenge. Because, uh, you know, smaller budget, had to save some money, so we just scavenged some old systems. And then the lights for the whole building use the last third of power. Your power will drain extremely quick when using all the lights, so use it sparingly. Now here's the part that might scare you. The animatronics can be very dangerous at night. I'll explain this in depth. 20 years ago, the animatronics Freddy, Bonnie, Chica and Foxy were retrofitted with a night mode, which was buggy, along with facial recognition as a test. Someone had tampered with the facial recognition afterwards and it resulted in the death of an employee. No one's quite sure what animatronic killed the employee, but we kept four of them and trashed the rest. In case we opened up one day. <clears throat> Some of those animatronics are here with you right now, with the bug night mode. The bug nightmare means that they will just simply roam around the building during the night and they'll most likely uh, pop up and visit you in your office. How exciting is that? Now, the danger is them spawning you. If they look at you for long enough, they will forcefully try to stuff you into a little Freddy Fazbear suit. Why? Well, they'll see you as a bare endoskeleton without a suit on, so they will try and assist you with getting one on. Which wouldn't be so bad if the suits weren't filled with crossbeams and wires, so it's quite deadly. Worse than the spring locks, actually. <clears throat> to avoid this happening, there is a little console to your right. It is wired to the main generator outside. So, so using it will turn off all power on and off as you please. What you do is you turn the power off and let the animatronics head back towards the generator as it still produces some noise. But the animatronics could any office while they're moving, so don't worry if this happens. Just make sure it's dark and keep still. Let them walk past. You must turn the power back on once they are out of your office, because once the generator stops turning, the animatronics will learn to listen closer for faint sounds, such as breathing or body movements, because they... Like, if there's, if there's no noise somewhere, they will look for noise which will be in your office. It's, just quite, it's quite bad, so don't try sitting in a dark all night. You may regret it. Now, if you're feeling scared or skeptical about watching our animatronics, do not worry. All the happenings of Fazbear and Fredbear Entertainment are in the past. The animatronics responsible have pretty much all have been disposed of. I think. <clears throat> okay, so now you're all filled in. Keep an eye on the animatronics, conserve power, log all activity, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow night. Good night, mate.
G'day, g'day. Good job on your first night, mate. I hope nothing scary happened. <laughs> so tonight there should be a little bit more activity, so you'll be kept busy. Again, I must point out you did great work last night, but I'm not sure if you moved the animatronics back to the stage or if they did it themselves, but everything is basically reset when we came in the yesterday morning. If you keep this up, we will consider you for the position at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza as the night guard when it opens. It would be basically the same thing, but you would have more power, lights always on the building, and a bonus, doors. But for now, we'll finish your current week off and end up talking to you about your future position. Anyway, so I guess you were watching Foxy all night last night, uh, waiting for him to move. Well, he will be tonight. He was disabled last night. That animatronic was in terrible condition, but it's still somewhat functional. He is quite different to the others, actually. He thrives in the dark. He hates light and being watched over. So if you don't want him to come running down the East Hall, uh, you'll have to check up on him by viewing the back room on the cameras and hold the light on him for about two to three seconds every now and then. If you don't do this, he'll, no, he'll most likely begin to move a little bit closer towards the party room. Once he comes to the party room, he'll come running. So be sure to check on him. Remember, don't stay in the dark for too long. So yeah, that's basically all I needed to talk to you about tonight. Keep an extra eye out for Foxy and have a good night, mate.
day, mate. Tonight shouldn't be too much different, other than the animatronics being a bit more active. It's kind of linear how it works, but every night you're going to get more busy. One thing you probably want cleared up is what the happenings were in the past. There's a lot of stuff that hasn't been discussed, but there is the origins of the animatronics in this building. They came from the original Fredbear's Diner. That place is long gone now, it was left to right. After multiple murders at Fredbear's Diner in 85, those animatronics have never been the same. How do I know all of this? I was only 11. This child was having a party. I wasn't invited because I always used to pick on him. But I always wanted to go to Fredbear's Diner, so I snuck into his party. I hid myself in a parts and services room where these suits that I later found out were Springlock suits. A man inside Spring Bonnie lured these kids into parts and services. I had hidden myself, but I witnessed five children murdered by this man. I just... I just heard him call himself Uncle Acton. I think that's what he said. He stuffed these kids into these suits that are here with you today. Freddy, Bonnie, Chica, Foxy, and one more. I believe the souls of these children linger in these animatronics, and that is why they are so strange at night. They are forever trapped. Look, mate, don't tell management what I just told you. They will fire me. It does sound like baloney, but I just want to make sure they don't hurt anyone. But anyway, I'd be there with you now, but I'm tied up for the next few days. This may sound crazy, but I've spent my life putting this together and getting a job here to try and watch over them. I have solved the puzzle. I don't know what I have to do next, but... Uh, uh, damn, I've said too much. I'll let you get back to work. Don't let them in. They're vengeful, mate.
Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 